Did you know that you can make your own homemade calligraphy pen out of soda cans? It's easy and in this video I'll show you how it's done. The materials you're going to need are pencils, tape, scissors, exacto knife, empty aluminum soda can, some ink, a screw, and some extra fine sandpaper. You can download this free template by following the link in the description down below. I'm going to use template number 2 for this tutorial, but the same steps will apply to all three templates. Begin by cutting out the template and set it aside when done. Use your X-Acto knife to make a vertical cut on the soda can. This cut will make an opening that will fit the scissors. I'll cut around the can one more time to remove the pointy and sharp edges. Tape the template onto the can. This will hold it in place to make cutting easier. While holding the template and the aluminum in place, make a soft bend on the dotted line. I use the edge of my ruler to make a straight bend. Use your screw to make ink holes on the aluminum. You don't have to make a lot of holes. 3 to 4 will do. Also, don't put them too close. Keep them evenly spaced. Tape the side that is labeled base to your pencil. Try to tape it as tight as possible. Pull the side labeled nib to lay parallel to the pencil and tape it in place. Make an inward bend on the side labeled bend. This will be the ink reservoir and will hold your ink in place. This last step is very important because the holes made with the screw left the nib too scratchy. We need it smooth to work properly. I'm going to use this extra fine sandpaper to smooth out the nib. I'm also going to sand down any pointy or sharp parts left around the aluminum. Do not sand too hard. If you do, the aluminum will break and you'll have to start over. Test out your new nib. If done correctly, the result is a completely functional pen that you can use for calligraphy. I wanted to try to give the lines a bit of style so I made a different nib where I cut out a small portion of the aluminum marked here as a black rectangle. I created the ink holes and then cut the small piece off. When I made this cut it distorted the nib a bit but I managed to return it back to normal. And this is the results. It can be a bit difficult to get proper ink flow with this pen, but still fun to use. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.